You can turn any icon or shape into an isometric style animation with this technique. So I'm going to show you. First of all, we're going to need a fusion composition. We're on a vertical screen right now just because. All right. Here, we're going to actually import an SVG file in this case, but this also applies if you're using a PNG. I'm going to paste these here because I already have it. If you don't know how to import an SVG file, this is what they look like, and it can be a little bit crazy and daunting. So let me press 2 so we can see these on screen. We have this plain ticket. So if you don't know how to import an SVG file, go to Fusion, Import, SVG, and then find it from there. And it will give you the option to import these and then select the size that you want to use. In this case, 800 by 800. I'm going to connect these to our background here, here and press 2 so that we can see these on screen. I'm going to make this background transparent. Okay. Then we're going to add a DVE node to these. So I'm going to press Ctrl and Spacebar, add a DVE, and this is what's going to allow us to move these around the different axes. So I'm going to bring these like these. That sounds, that looks good. Now we can rotate these like that and it looks pretty cool already. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transform node because here then I can adjust the scale individually without having to use the DVE node. Sometimes I'd rather have a separate node for those type of things. Okay, now the next step for these is to add what's going to be our shadow. So I'm going to add a background right here and I'm going to connect our transform node to this one. Let's connect these backgrounds so we can see these. We're not seeing anything yet. I'm going to turn the color of these to be, let's say, a little bit darker than this purple, so it makes sense, like that. We might be able to see these a little bit, but not really. Here in this background, we're going to add a duplicate here. And on this duplicate, we're going to set this, the copies to 20, and we're going to set the center Y position to 0.4993. That's going to add the little depth. Now, this is obviously not extreme, not perfect. If you go really close, you might see some details. But for the use cases that you will probably give it to, it will probably not be noticeable. So you're pretty good in that regard. And now you have this cool effect that you can use the C here to animate these. Because if you do use the Y value, it's not going to look that great since it is just a flat uh, shape. So what we can do is animate the C values. So here we're going to move these and I'm going to move these like that. And in the spline tool, I'm just going to use it is in and out options. Let's take a look at this. And if you want, you can actually use the transform node here and we're going to animate the size of this animation uh, like that. I put this point 1.1 and I'm going to make the initial one zero let's see how that looks Press f and t okay now it's a little bit too fast the transform animation was just a little extra thing that came to mind right now so if we take a look at this we have that dve animation that we can also continuously make a uh, turn by just pressing here and adding plus 360 and then it's just going to continuously rotate like that. And it does play well and it keeps working, right? And then what you can do is add a drop shadow here if you want to sell the effect even better. Then decrease the distance, also the blurriness of it, and also the strength a little bit. Now, then we have this cool floating icon animation and then if you want you can also increase or apply a similar style effect to elements inside of these but that will be a little bit more advanced since you have a lot more nodes and masks that are part of this composition so that might be part of another video in the future so that is it for this video make sure to like it and come back tomorrow for more